Hello again. Thanks for stopping by Max's Cards and Dice Dugout. This is episode number 106. And today we're at Forbes Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for game number 32 of the Stratomatic Baseball Old Timer Kings of the Hill Tournament, which has the 1960 Pittsburgh Pirates hosting the 1961 Detroit Tigers. Let's take a look at the uh, status of the Hill before we get to the starting lineups. Well, the Pirates, uh, this is their first defense of the Hill. And in fact, the first game at Forbes Field in the tournament. And they will be taking on the Tigers who are trying to get that fifth win and to go to a five and three record, which will match them with the 1950 Phillies and Yankees and the 1954 Cleveland Indians. On deck, we have the 57 Braves and in the hole, the 1950 Phillies. All right, today's starting lineups first for the visiting 1961 Detroit Tigers leading off at second base, Jake Wood batting second, center field, Bill Bruton batting third in right field, Al Kaline batting fourth, Rocky Colavito, he's in left, batting fifth, first baseman Norm Cash batting sixth, third baseman Steve Boros, seventh is catcher Dick Brown, eighth. Chico Fernandez, he's at shortstop, and batting ninth and pitching is Don Mossy. In 1961, he was 15 and 7 with a 296 ERA and 240 innings pitched. He gets a number two pitcher's hitting card. For the current Kings of the Hill, the 1960 Pittsburgh Pirates leading off in center field is Bill Verdon. Batting second at shortstop is Dick Schofield, who is playing for the injured Dick Grote. Batting third, left fielder Bob Skinner. Batting fourth, first baseman Dick Stewart. Batting fifth, Roberto Clemente. He's in right. Batting sixth is catcher Smokey Burgess. Batting seventh, third baseman Don Hoke. Batting eighth, Bill Mazeroski at second base. And batting ninth and on the hill is Vern Law. In 1960, he was 20 and 9 with a 308 ERA and 272 innings of work. He also gets a number two pitcher's hitting card. Now, I should mention that uh, in this game, uh, as I previously mentioned, uh, Dick Rote is still unavailable for Pittsburgh for six more games. Games, excuse me. That's why Schofield is starting. And unavailable as far as pitching for Detroit. Bunning and Reagan are fatigued. And, uh, excuse me, Bob Friend, who pitched that complete game shutout in the previous game, game number 31 against the Cleveland Indians. He's also unavailable for this game. All right, so Jake Woods ready, steps into the batter's box. Fern Law has finished his warm-up tosses. He's ready to go, and we are underway. That's a ground ball to shortstop. Schofield over to Stewart for the first out here and the top of the first. There's one away, nobody on. That'll bring up Bill Bruton, the center fielder. He hits a fly ball to right at the track is Roberto Clemente. He makes the catch, and there are two gone here in the top of the first. Two outs, nobody on. Al Kaline, Detroit right fielder. And Kaline hits one up the middle for a two-out base hit. So he's on first, two away. And Rocky Colavito, the left fielder. And that's a strikeout. First strikeout for Vern Law. And that's it for the Tigers here in the top of the first. So with one half inning in the books, it's Detroit nothing and the Pirates coming up to bat. Vern Law will receive... His first fatigue point. Don Mossy's out here for the bottom of the first. Leading off for the Pirates will be center fielder Bill Verdon. And he hits a fly ball to right field. 
Now K lines under that near the track makes the catch one away. One out, base is empty for Dick Schofield. He hits a fly ball to left field. Rocky Colavito's got that one, tracks it down, and there are two gone. Here's left fielder Bob Skinner. And he lines one to Norm Cash, who makes it nice play for the third out. And the Pirates also go one, two, three. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with one inning in the books, we are scoreless. Don Mossy gets his first fatigue point. And here in the top of the second, for the Tigers, it's going to be Cash, Boros, and Brown. And that's a leadoff single for Norm Cash. Hits one past Schofield, makes the turn, but returns to first base. So he's on first with nobody out. <coughs> and third baseman, Steve Boros. And that's back-to-back -back singles for the Tigers. Hits a ball to center field that Verdon feels quickly, so Cash is forced to hold up at second. So there's runners on first and second with nobody out for Detroit and catcher Dick Brown. And he pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. First baseman Stewart is under that, makes the catch, and there is one away. So it's first and second with one out and shortstop Chico Fernandez. He hits a ground ball back to pitcher Vern Law. It's an X check. Uh, Law is a two defensive. And we roll a seven. And that is going to be a nice play by Law and a one, six, three inning and rally ending double play. So that's it for the Tigers here in the top of the second with one and a half innings in the books. We remain scoreless. Vern Law gets his second fatigue point. And Dick Stort's going to lead off for the Pirates here in the bottom of the second. And he hits one down the right field line. K-Line gets to it, but not before Stewart slides in the second base with a leadoff double. So the Pirates are in business here in the bottom of the second. Stewart's on second with nobody out, and here's Roberto Clemente. And he strikes out for strikeout for Don Mossy, and there's one away. Dick Stewart is only a one to nine running, so uh, we're going to play it very conservative here. So he's on second with one out, and Smokey Burgess, Pirates catcher. He hits a ground ball to first base. The only play for Norm Cash is to go to the bag unassisted. And that allows Stewart to move over to third base. So he's there on third with two outs and third baseman Don Hoke. Pirates would like to get this runner on third home. And it is a deep fly ball to center field. Back goes Al Kaline. It's way up out of here, gone over his head. A two-run home run for Don Hoke and the Pirates lead 2-0. So Mossy gets two more fatigue points, and they're going wild here at Forbes Field. So the bases have been cleared by that home run. 
There's two outs, and here's second baseman Bill Mazeroski. And he hits one down the left field line. Colavito tries to track it down, but it bounces around in the corner. Mazeroski rounds second and slides into third with a two-out triple. And that's going to bring up pitcher Vern Law. Bill Mazeroski on third, two gone. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout number two for Don Mossy. And that ends the inning. But not before the Pirates score two runs on Don Hoke's last to center field. And I gave them a zero up here. <laughs> it should be a two. So two innings in the books. It's the Pirates two. And the Tigers nothing. Uh, Mossy gets his fourth fatigue point for the inning. Top of the third. Fern Law, who is at two on the fatigue, will face his counterpart, counterpart Don Mossy. And Mossy hits a fly ball to right field. Clemente's under that, makes the catch, one away. Back to the top of the order for the Tigers. One out, nobody on. Jake Wood. He hits a ground ball to second base. Bill Mazeroski is a one. This is an X check. And we roll a 14. Mazeroski makes a nice play and from his knees fires over to Norm Cash. Or excuse me, not to Norm Cash, to Skinner. <clears throat> excuse me for the second out. That's a 4-3 put out. And there are two away. Two outs, nobody on for center fielder Bill Bruton. Bruton's 0 for 1. He flew out to center field his first time up. This time he hits a single right up the middle. Makes the turn, but holds a first base. So he's there with two away. And Al Kaline. K-Line singled his first time up. He's one for one. And he does it again. Let's check Bruton's running. He's a one to 16. That makes him a one to 18 with two outs. He's heading for third. And he's safe. So the Tigers have runners on the corners with two outs. And left fielder Rocky Colavito, who struck out his first time up. This time he hits a fly ball to deep center field. Sends Bill Burden back to the track to the wall, and he makes the catch for the third out. So the Tigers do threaten here in the top of the third, but do not score. And after two and a half, it's Pittsburgh two and Detroit nothing. Vern Law gets his third fatigue point. Don Mossy, who is at four, is out here for the bottom of the third. And it's the top of the order for the Pirates. And this is a deep fly ball. That's going to send Bill Bruton back to the wall, way up out of here, gone. A leadoff solo shot for Bill Verdon, and it's now 3 0 Pirates. Mossy gets his fifth fatigue point, and there is some moving around and activity in the Tigers' bullpen. <clears throat> Here's shortstop Dick Schofield. Schofield's 0 for 1. It's a fly ball to center field. 
Bill Bruton's under that, makes the catch, one away. So one out, nobody on. For left fielder, Bob Skinner. He's 0 for 1. And make that 0 for 2 because he strikes out. Second out of the inning and the third strikeout for Mossy. The base is empty with two outs. And first baseman Dick Stewart. Stewart doubled his first time up and scored on Hoke's home run back in the second. This is a catcher's card X. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Brown is a three. And we roll a 20. And that means we roll again. 13. Stort pops this one up. It's in foul territory near the Pirates' dugout. And Brown's under that makes the catch for the third out. But not before the Pirates pick up another run on Bill Verdon's solo shot. And after three innings of play, it's the Pirates' three. And the Tigers nothing. Mossy gets his sixth fatigue point. And we go to the top of the fourth with Vern Law. And the first batter he's going to face is Norm Cash. He'll be followed by Boros and Brown. And Cash draws a leadoff walk. So he's on first. Steve Boros. Well, he's one for one, singled back in the second. This time he hits a fly ball to center field. Bill Verdon's under that, makes the catch. One away. Cash holds up at first. So one out, man on first for Dick Brown. Pirates lead 3 0. He hits a fly ball also to center field. And Verdon's under that one as well. Same result. Two outs. So man on first with two outs and shortstop Chico Hernandez, who hit into an inning ending and rally ending double play back in the second. He's 0 for 1. He pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. Don Hoke is under that. Calls everyone else off. Makes the catch for the third out. And that's it for the Tigers in the fourth. And after three and a half, it's Pittsburgh 3, Detroit nothing. Vern Law gets his fourth fatigue point. Don Mossy, who is at six, is out here in the bottom of the fourth. First batter he's going to face is Roberto Clemente, followed by Smokey Burgess and Don Hope. It's a ground ball to short. So next check, Showfield is a three. You roll an eight. And Schofield makes a nice play. Fires over to Norm Cash for the first out. Robs Clemente of at least a base hit. And there's one away. It's going to bring up Smokey Burgess. He grounded out his first time up. This time he hits a ground ball right back to Don Mossy. He jogs towards first base, tosses to Norm Cash for the second out. Two up, two down here in the bottom of the fourth. And third baseman Don Hoke, who hit a two-run shot to center field his last time up. This time he draws a walk. So a two-out walk. For Hoke, he's on first, two away, and Bill Mazeroski. Mazeroski hit a triple his first time up, but was left stranded out there. This time it's a single to left field. Colavito's at it pretty quick, but Hoke does get to third. 
So Mazeroski is two for two. He's on first. Pirates have runners on the corners with two outs. And pitcher Vern Law. It's a ground ball to short, and it is an X check. Chico Fernandez is a three, and we roll a five. And Fernandez makes a nice play. Goes the short way, firing over to Jake Wood, at, covering at second. They get Mazeroski on the force. And so it's a fielder's choice for Law and the third out. Pirates threaten. They can't get anyone home. And after four innings of play, the Pirates lead 3-0. Mossy gets his seventh fatigue point. Vern Law, who's at four, is out here for the top of the fifth. And he will face his counterpart, Don Mossy, who is 0 for 1. This time he hits a ground ball right back to Law. And he fires over to stored first base for the first out here in the top of the fifth. Now back to the top of the order. And second baseman Jake Wood. Wood's 0 for 2. He pops this one up. He's got to stay in the infield. Storts under that near the first base bag and makes the catch two away. So two outs, nobody on. And center fielder Bill Bruton, who is 1 for 2. He singled back in the third. This time he hits a ground ball to third base. Dick Stewart has that. And he fires, or no, not Dick Stewart. Don Hoke has that, and he fires to Dick Stewart for the 5-3 putout to end the inning. So here in the top of the fifth, the Tigers go 1-2-3. And after four and a half, Pittsburgh leads 3-0. Vern Law gets his fifth fatigue point. Don Mossy, who is at seven, is out here for the bottom of the fifth. And first batter he'll face is top of the order for the Pirates, Bill Verdon, who is one for two. He hits a fly ball to left field. Rocky Colavito's under that near the track, makes the catch, one away. Here's Dick Schofield playing shortstop today for the injured Dick Grote. Uh, Showfield is 0 for 2. He hits a ground ball to short. Chico Fernandez over to Norm Cash. Two away. So two outs, nobody on. And left fielder Bob Skinner. Skinner is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And make that two strikeouts. That's going to be strikeout number four for Mossy. And the Pirates go one, two, three here in the bottom of the fifth. And with five innings in the books, it's Pittsburgh three and Detroit nothing. Uh, Mossy gets his eighth fatigue point. Vern Law, who is at five. He's out here for the top of the sixth. And the first batter he's going to face is Al Kaline. And that's a strikeout. I believe that's the second, yes, the second strikeout for Vern Law. And there's one away here in the top of the sixth. K-line was two for two. I'll make that two for three now. Here's Rocky Calavito, who is 0 for two. One out, nobody on. He hits a ground ball to shortstop. Dick Schofield has that. Over to Stewart for the second out. And Norm Cash. Cash is one for one with a walk. This time he hits a fly ball to right field. Sends Roberto Clemente back to the track where he makes the catch for the third out. And here in the top of the six, the Tigers go one, two, three. And with five and a half in the books, 
It's Pittsburgh three and Detroit nothing. Vern Law gets his six fatigue point. Don Moss, he's back out here. He's at eight uh, for the bottom of the sixth. And leading off for the Pirates will be first baseman Dick Stewart, followed by Roberto Clemente and Smokey Burgess. And that's a leadoff single for Stewart. So he's on first base, nobody out. Roberto Clemente, who is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. This time he hits a ground ball to first base. It's an X check for Norm Cash, who is a 3. We roll a 19, which is probably going to tell us no. It's not going to tell us that. Cash boots that and it rolls into right field. And that's going to send Stewart to third base. On the E3, Clemente glides into second. So the Pirates have second and third with nobody out. And Smokey Burgess. And there is some activity now in the, in the Tigers' bullpen. And it's Paul Foytak who's warming up. <clears throat> so second and third, nobody out. Smokey Burgess. Detroit is bringing the infield in. It's a ground ball back to the pitcher, Don Mossy. It is an X check. He, as all pitchers in this basic game, is a two. And we roll a nine. Now with the infield in, that is a ground ball pitcher X check. And it is a, you have to excuse me here a moment. We rolled a nine. That's an out, but okay. Stewart's going to hold. Clemente's forced to hold, and Burgess grounds out one three. There's one away. Infield is still in. Runners on second and third with one out. And Don Hoke. It's a fly ball to center field. That's going to send Bill Bruton back to the wall. He makes the catch. For the second out. But Stewart's going to score. The Pirates now lead 4-0. He tags up. And the ball comes in the short, forcing Clemente to hold it second. All right, so there's two away. Mossy gets his ninth fatigue point. So man on second. Two outs, Bill Mazeroski. He pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. Steve Boros is under that. Makes the catch for out number three. But the Pirates do pick up another run, and after six, they lead 4 nothing. Mossy gets his 10th fatigue point. His day is probably done. Vern Law, who's at six, comes out here for the top of the seventh. And he's going to face Steve Boros, who is one for two. Ground ball back to the pitcher, Vern Lotz, an X check. He's a two, roll a 20. And we got to roll again. And I'll be rolling 18. And Vern Law makes a nice play. Over to Dick Stewart for the 1 3 put out. 
And there's one away here in the top of the seventh. That's going to bring up Dick Brown, the Troy catcher. He's 0 for 2. And he lines this one right at Jake Wood. Or excuse me, not Jake Wood. Bill Mazeroski for the second out. So two outs, nobody on. And shortstop Chico Fernandez, who is also 0 for 2. But not anymore because he hits a two-out single. Into right field, makes the turn, but holds there at first. So he's there with two outs. And it's the pitcher's spot, and Don Mossy's name day is certainly done. And Bubba Morton is going to pinch hit for Mossy. Paul Foytak will be the pitcher for the Tigers in the bottom of the seventh. But here's Bubba Morton. Pinch hitting. Top of the seventh. With the man on first. It's a ground ball to second base. It's an X check. Mazeroski is a one. We roll a 20. Which means we got to roll again. Now we roll a 12. And Mazeroski makes a nice play. Over to Dick Stewart for the third out. And that's it for the Tigers here in the top of the seventh. And after six and a half, it's Pittsburgh four and Detroit nothing. All right. Vern Law gets his seventh fatigue point. Now the new pitcher for the Tigers is Paul Foytak. In 1961, he was 11 and 10 with a 392 ERA and 170 innings pitched. And the first batter he is going to face is his counterpart, Vern Law. And then we'll be back to the top of the order. So the first batter for Foytak is Law. Oh, Law is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And make that 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. So there's one away, first strikeout for Foytak. And we're back to the top of the order for the Pirates here in the bottom of the seventh with one out, nobody on. Pirates lead 4 0. It's a ground ball to third base. Steve Boros over to Norm Cash, two away. So two outs, nobody on for Dick Schofield. Schofield's 0 for 3. But he hits a ground ball to Jake Wood, tosses to Cash, and the Pirates go 1-2-3 here in the bottom of the seventh. After seven innings, they lead 4 nothing. Foytak will get his first fatigue point. Fern Law, who's at seven, is out here for the top of the eighth. And it's Jake Wood. And the Pirates are just uh, precautionary. Going to get somebody warming up in the bullpen. And it's going to be uh, Fred Green. He's going to start warming up. He'll be ready for the Pirates if needed. But right now it's Vern Law, and we're at the top of the eighth. Pirates lead 4 nothing. Back to the top of the order for the Tigers, and it's Jake Wood, who is 0 for 3. It's a ground ball to third base. It's an X check. Don Hoke is a 1. We roll a 17. And Hoke makes a nice play over to Dick Stewart. One away. Here in the top of the eighth. 
So one out, nobody on for Bill Bruton. Bruton's one for three. He hits a fly ball to center field that sends Bill Verdon back to the track. But he's under it, makes the catch, and there are two outs. Two outs, nobody on. Now K-Line, who is two for three. Make that three for four. K-Line hits the ball up the middle. And two out single, makes the turn, but he'll hold it first. It's going to bring up Rocky Colavito. Man on first with two outs. Colavito is 0 for 3. It's a ground ball to third base. It's going to be an X check. Don Hoke is a 1. We roll a 16. And Hoke makes another nice play over to Dick Stewart for the third out. Some good defense by the Buckos here in the top of the eighth. And once again, Detroit puts another zero up on the scoreboard, and after seven and a half, it's Pittsburgh four, Detroit nothing. Vern Law gets his eighth fatigue point. Paul Foytak, relief pitchers for the Tigers, is out here for the bottom of the eighth. And it's gonna be Bob Skinner, first batter he faces. Left fielder for the Pirates, he's 0 for three with two strikeouts. And Skinner's going to reach base on a single up the middle. So he's on first, leadoff single, nobody out. Dick Stewart. Stewart is two for three. With two runs scored. He hits a fly ball to center field. Oh, uh, Bill Bruton's under that, makes the catch. One out. Skinner holds it first. And Roberto Clemente. Clemente is 0 for 3. But not any longer. Because he hits a ball down the left field line. It bounces around. He pulls up at second base. Skinner... Goes to third, and he's going to hold there. So the Pirates are going to have runners on the corner, corners with one out. It's Smokey Burgess. Detroit's bringing the infield in again. Burgess is 0 for 3. And he strikes out, second strike out for Foytak. And there are two away. And the infield back. So two outs, runners on second and third. And third baseman Don Hoke, who is one for three with a home run that he hit back in the second. This time he hits a fly ball to center field. Bill Bruton, it's an X check. He's a two. And we roll a two. And he makes a jump up at the wall and makes an incredible catch to prevent any more run scoring for the Pirates and ending the inning. So with eight in the books, it's Pittsburgh four and Detroit nothing. Foytak gets his second fatigue point. Fern Law's coming back out. Uh, try to get this complete game. And to save on the Pirates bullpen, but Fred Green is ready to go if needed. And here in the top of the ninth leading off, it's going to be Norm Cash, Steve Boros, and then the catcher Brown. It's a ground ball to second base. It's an X check. Mazeroski's a one. We roll an 18. Which tells us to select another split card or... Roll the D20. And Mazeroski makes another nice play. Vern Law's getting a lot of help from his defense, and it's a 4-3 put out. Although I'm putting it in the wrong place. It's a 4-3 put out for the first out here in the top of the ninth. 
It's going to bring up Steve Boros. Tigers third baseman. Uh, Boros is one for three. He hits a line drive right at shortstop Dick Schofield, who makes a nice play for the second out. And this is it for the Tigers. And it's going to be catcher Dick Brown, who is 0 for 3. Vern Law going for the complete game shutout, just as teammate Bob Friend did in the previous game against the Cleveland Indians. And Brown pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. Don Hoke is under that, makes the catch, and this one is in the books. And the Pirates get back-to-back -back complete game shutouts from their pitchers. And they win this one for nothing. And will remain on the hill. All right, so let's get totals for you. Tigers, no runs on... Six hits. They did commit an error. And the Pirates four runs on. Eight hits. And no errors. Winning pitcher, of course, is Vern Law. I guess I should put that over here. No, oh, that's fine. And the loss goes to Don Mossy. So the Pirates will face the 57 Braves in game number 33 and try to keep uh, this tournament at Forbes Field for at least one more game. That's going to do it for this episode. If you hung out with me, I appreciate it. And I'll be back again in the near future with another replay video. And until then, take care.